an ophthalmologist in private practice in Great Falls, Montana. I primarily specialize in cataract surgery, glaucoma surgery, and laser vision correction. I have three kids and a wife and love it in Montana. Gloves are extremely important uh, to all of medicine. They're an important barrier uh, to prevent contamination between the patient and the surgeon or the patient and the healthcare practitioner. There are two problems with, with wearing a glove for anyone. There is a, if it's a latex glove, there is a type one hypersensitivity reaction that can occur to the person wearing the glove or to anyone who's allergic to natural rubber. A, the, the second type of problem you could, you could experience is if you're wearing a non-latex glove and that, uh, that can occur in the terms of uh, having an allergic contact dermatitis due to the chemical accelerants that they use to make a uh, non-latex glove look, feel, and perform like a regular natural rubber glove. By and large in the operating rooms and in most hospitals they have done away with um, regular latex gloves. So probably at least for up until 2008 and maybe the, at least five to ten years prior to that I was wearing a non-latex glove from what I was aware of the standard of care was a non-latex glove. That's what everybody wore and I just never imagined that there were other aspects of a non-latex glove that would be potentially so allergenic and so disabling to my hands um, that just surprised me because I, I knew the issues associated with latex I didn't know the issues associated with the chemicals uh, involved in some non-latex gloves. In 2008 I developed a type 4 delayed hypersensitivity allergic reaction that wasn't really sure what the cause of it was. I, I spent a lot of time in the OR so I just assumed it was just time spent in a glove. My rash started here over the knuckles and it spread over to this dorsal area of both hands and then it just kind of extended uh, onto this portion of the wrist. My hands looked horrible with this contact dermatitis and you can imagine just uh, having a swollen claw essentially. I mean it looked really deformed because of the edema in the hands it looks like you've been scalded. I just called a friend of mine who's a dermatologist and and he I, he saw me over the weekend. He, you know, looked at my hands and he said, oh, you have an allergic contact dermatitis. And so he did the full complement of patch testing on my back. And what that did is kind of broke down um, all the potential chemicals that I'm allergic to. I, uh, I the dermatologist gave me a, a booklet and in this booklet there's a description of the composition of every glove that they make for every manufacturer and every glove and at the time the only glove that that was made that didn't have any of the chemicals that I was allergic to was the Gamex non-latex glove and it's not just a non-latex it's a non-chemical glove and since 2008 I've uh, only been using the Gamex non-latex non-chemical glove the rest of my practice went when my hands became inflamed, it got to the point that I didn't want to show them, you know, around. <laughs> At the peak of the inflammation, when I was getting it up on my chest and whatnot, you know, it, it made me feel like I had some autoimmune disease or whatnot. It just, I felt, you felt really ill um, from this toxin. And, uh, you know, it made me quite concerned that I wasn't going to be able to do surgery anymore. Um, I had heard horror stories, you know, of, from the nurses and whatnot. Of, they all knew a surgeon who had to quit doing surgery because of a glove reaction. Um, and so I certainly didn't want to be that person. I didn't, I didn't need to cut down on surgery. Um, I was able to get through uh, that aspect of it successfully. It's just, you know, by the end of the day, my hands really hurt. And, um, as far as affecting the practice, my practice per se, um, it was primarily just a concern about whether I was going to keep being able to continue to do surgery and what the long-term game plan was going to be. If you're experiencing any redness, irritation, itchiness at all, 
after being in a glove, A, get into a non-latex glove, get into a non-chemical glove, and what's worked for me has been the Gamex non-latex. And I think it's really far more common um, than is recognized, and I think that um, the fact that I know five surgeons in Little Town and Great Falls who have the same contact dermatitis from a non-latex glove that resolved when they went into the, the Gamex non-latex, non-chemical glove, I mean, that, I think that says a lot. You know, the most important thing about the Gamex non-latex glove to me is that uh, it, I'm not allergic to it. Secondly, it's a great glove. You know, it it's, performs well and it feels good. Um, no issues whatsoever. I don't, I don't think about the glove, which is, which is what you want. It's almost like you got another layer of skin on that's sterile and strong, protects me.